the group theory lecture number six. And we've been uh, discussing the symmetric groups, right? We've been discussing the symmetric groups. And we found that very interestingly that all finite groups are subgroups of some symmetric groups, okay? So uh, now, uh, today we want to discuss something called partitions. So what are partitions? So you know, let us consider you know, the elements of say Sn which consists of disjoint cycles, okay? So an example of a disjoint cycle is, uh, for example, if I take say one, two, three and five and six, okay? and uh, um, although I'm not saying it, but you know, this means that four is just nothing is happening to four. So that's an example of a disjoint cycle. Another example of a disjoint cycle would be one, two, say three, four, five, and suppose there's a six. Okay, so the idea is that there is no overlap of the elements that overlap of the objects that these, uh, you know, these cycles act on. So these are all disjoint cycles. And an example of cycles which are not disjoint, cycles that are not disjoint would be cycles like say one, two, three, say three, six, okay? So here, three and three, they occur in both. And then the other one would be say one, two, say one, five, three, okay? So, but we are interested in SN groups and disjoint cycles of this form. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> so let us consider SN elements, you know, which are products of disjoint cycles um, that is non-overlapping cycles and uh, let's call this a PI cycles. So PI cycles that is each cycle has length PI you know, for I say one, it could be one cycle, it could be a two cycle, dot, 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 some positive integer R. And we order these cycles in the following way. We say, uh, this is the smallest one, and then PR minus one, dot, 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 P2, P1, okay? And of course, what they need to satisfy is that all the cycles, when you add them, must be, must give you n, right? So one to r, p 
pi must add up to n, right? Okay. Now, these elements, you know, uh, you know, these elements, they form some subset. You know, these elements, you know, form a subset of S of N, and we denote that subset, we denote that subset as, say, um, P1, P2, dot, 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 say, PR, okay? So for example, if I take uh, say S4, okay? And I say, okay, I'm going to consider the subsets in which P1 is equal to P2 is equals to two, right? So I denote that subset as two comma two. So later on, we, we might sw we'll switch to a different notation. But for now, let's just use this notation. So, you know, what would be the elements of this subset, right? Well, we are considering S4, so the elements would be one, two, three, four, uh, one, three, two, four, right? And then one, four, uh, two, three, right? Do you agree? This would be the subset. So there are three elements in the subset. Okay. Now, what if I say, okay, I want to instead take, say, two, one, one. Then, uh, Two one one would consist of, say, uh, one two, say three four, one three, uh, two four, then say one four, two three. And then we will have moved to two. Then it'll be like two, three, one, four. Then there'll be two, four, one, three. And then we'll move to three. It'll be three, four, one, two. Okay, so it'll have six elements. Okay, so now what we want to do is that we want to find out what the total number of elements, uh, you know, is for a general set like that. Is it clear what we're trying to do? Yeah. So uh, the two comma two in square brackets, that is called S2, right? No, this is not a group. This is just a set, a subset. So all the, so we are considering some SN group. We are considering some group SN and we are looking at elements of this group, which are products of disjoint P cycles, PI cycles, where I goes from one to R. And we are ordering them in this way. This is just an ordering. And uh, because we are dealing with an uh, SN group, all the, cycles are n cycles right all the elements are n cycles overlapping or not so all the pi's must add to n so we are not looking for subgroups here we're looking for subsets we're looking for subsets where we have independent non-overlapping cycles like this one 
These are non-overlapping, disjoint or non-overlapping. And what I'm saying is that if I take, for example, uh, S4 and I look for non, so all the, in S4, you know, all the cycles in total have length four. But if I look at, you know, cycles which are non-overlapping cycles made out of two cycles, say one, two cycle and two cycles, then that set consists of these three elements, right? Because S4 has, what is the order of S4? The order of S4 is fact four factorial, right? So it's a huge, huge group. Well, big, large group. But uh, it has only three, uh, you know, and of course this is not a group because it doesn't have an identity element, right? Yes, sir. So it's a subset. We're looking at the subsets and we're counting the size of the subsets. Okay. So I could choose one, 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 uh, four ones in the square bracket, right? Yeah, then you would have a different counting, right? Okay, got it. Yeah, basically just will have one in that case. Okay, so similarly, this is another subset. 